Um, I cannot think of the name of his channel right offhand. But um, he's on YouTube. Um, he basically cooks over an open fire. Um, so we're not going to do that today, of course. So I've kind of adapted his recipes to stove top. Um, you know, with things changing each and every day, you know, in our society and grocery prices are starting to go up. Um, you should be able to start seeing that a lot now. Um, you need to come up with very, you know, easy ways to cut back on meat. Um, this recipe in particular is just a ham steak that cost me like three dollars and something. Um, you can get them. I got this at Walmart because you know that's where I shop. But um, you could probably use anything. But a leftover ham would be good too. Um, let's see, I don't remember how it weighed. It was not even a pound. And I chopped it up as tiny as I could get it. Probably could have done it even smaller. Um, and what I'm doing right now is I'm just kind of, I put a little tiny bit of olive oil in here. And I'm basically cutting this up on high heat and trying to just sear it. Not cook it, which I mean, it's smoked, so you don't really have to cook it. You can eat the way it is, but... Um, just kind of sear it a little bit and then we're going to remove it from the pan and we're going to do our vegetables in this pan and then we're going to move that from the pan and we're going to add all of it to the beans. The beans that we're making today are red kidney beans um, which is what the recipe called for. I went ahead now in the rest on the recipe you're supposed to use dry beans and that's exactly what I did. But I'm more than sure that you could um, use canned. You just have to pay attention to your times, your cooking times, because canned beans are already cooked, so you don't have to, you know, do any of that. Um, I went ahead and cooked my dry beans. Um, they're about, I mean, they look like they're already done. So... They won't have to cook much longer. So I'll be right back with you. Let's, let's let this sear just a little bit and we'll get it out of the pan and we'll start on our vegetables. Probably sear this just a little 
little bit longer, but I don't want it to dry out. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove it from the heat. We get all this out and get a bigger spoon. And then we're gonna do the next part of our recipe, which calls for our vegetables, celery, onion, bell pepper, and a few other little things. But we've got to kind of saute them. And I'm going to go ahead and saute them in this pan. I know that it's got a little bit of, not much, but a little bit of ham juices in it and stuff like that. But I don't think it's going to be anything to hurt anything. And it's all going to end up mixed together anyway. So I think it'll be fine. We'll just get them all out. over a fire and iron in an iron skillet we're not doing that we're doing it for the stove so you can see where it's just easily adaptable okay so while that's getting ready it says you cook for about five minutes or until the onions begin to get tender and then stir in the garlic so that's what we're going to do we're going to do it about five minutes and then we're going to stir in the garlic
and it's cooked about five minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and take it off of the heat, add it to the beans real quick. Put the beans over on my pan, on, on my burner. Add this to it. All that goodness in there. to cook a little bit longer in the skillet but as per usual I overlooked that so hopefully they'll get done enough in this pan if I have to I may add a little bit more water to it to make sure those get done all right now while that that's cooking you need to go ahead and put your bay leaves in you gotta have three of those and I recommend you go to big lots and get your bay leaves if you've got a big lots in your area but anywhere you can get any will be fine um that's usually where i get mine and i usually get several bottles of them it's a lot of flavor that you can add to a meal no matter how plain so always keep that in mind your cheap herbs and spices the cheap ones now not the ones that's all mixed up for you and all that will get you a lot further especially with times like they're getting now you're going to need the help um, and then we need to add, wash off my spoon. All right, then we need to add a teaspoon of dry thyme and two tablespoons of parsley. Not a big parsley fan, but I'll go ahead and put this in here. One, two. And one teaspoon of thyme. So it says ground white pepper, coarse ground. So um, two teaspoons of coarse ground, and this is like fine. So I only put about half when it asks for that. And I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. Um, Kent Rollins, I think, makes his own seasonings, and I don't have any of those. So he said in place of the mesquite seasoning or his original seasoning, you just put salt and pepper to taste, and that's what I'm gonna do. All right, so let's let this cook on up. Okay, All right, like I said, I'm gonna add a little bit of water. Just a little bit more. Probably about a cup's worth for me. Um, and may come back and look and see how we are with the vegetables. Because we need to get those vegetables completely done. If I wasn't in such a hurry, that would have happened. Um, and you can go ahead at this time and add your ham back to it. And that'll help season everything as well. And I'm going to make a big old pot of rice to go with it. And that's going to be our supper. I'll see you back here in a few minutes. Okay, so here's the finished product. Put the beans over rice and made a pan of cornbread. We don't have to do that, but and this will be a meal for my family. It has a little bit of ham in it, so you do have a little bit of meat in there and a little bit of meat flavor. All right, 
be sure to subscribe down below. Uh, see you next time.